everyone, Emily from Pogo Physio here. I just wanted to have a quick chat with you this afternoon about how to choose a brace after pregnancy. I get asked a lot if um, by people once they've had their bub if they should be wearing some kind of support garment around their abdomen. And I just wanted to give you a few ideas about why or why not you would wear a brace and different indications. So. A lot of the time people wear a brace is because of their abdominal separation. It's quite hard to find evidence behind this, but a lot of the time what people report is that it feels really nice to have that support around their abdomen after they've had their bub. Um, you've got pretty much two options when it comes to braces for that abdominal separation type thing. One is a Velcro brace that wraps around and the other is suck me in shapewear type underwear. Um, from my point of view, they both have pros and cons. Um, the good thing about the braces that you wrap around and Velcro up is that as you get smaller, as your uterus shrinks down, you can do it tighter and tighter to provide that support. One of the downsides is if it's more of a rigid brace, it can be quite annoying to sit in if it digs into your legs. Um, and when you're up and down feeding and moving around a lot, it can be a little bit annoying that way. So if you are gonna go with one of the wraparound braces, if it's a nice soft one, that can be a really, really good option. Um, when it comes to the suck me in type undies, so sometimes people wear like Spanx or Triumph brand of the undies or the little shorts, which come up nice and high, or they might just wear the band that kind of wraps around and you pull it up like a skirt. That can be really good um, because it's easy to move in and it's not too hot. Um, the only thing is you probably need a size for now and a size for a few weeks time after you've had your baby because as your uterus shrinks down, it will get, um, you'll get smaller and smaller and the undies will get too big. So you need a smaller size. Um, another option is the SRC recovery shorts. Um, some health funds provide a rebate on these, so it is quite good to check with your health fund about that because it provides medical grade compression. They can be really comfortable to exercise in and things like that. It is a few layers of material, so they can be quite warm. So it's really nice to wear in winter, sometimes a bit hot in summer. So it really depends what kind of activity you're into. But those are a few options for if you are wearing a brace for your abdominal separation. Something to keep in mind with braces is that you don't want your muscles to become reliant on them. So during those first six weeks when your uterus is shrinking down a lot, it can be nice to wear that brace a lot to provide the support that you need. But from that six week mark onwards, you wanna start weaning off the brace. So you might wear it just when you're gonna do some exercise or you've got a bit more on with your kids or you've got a bit more an act activity to do that day. And kind of from three months onwards, you want to wear it less and less. The main thing being, we don't want your abdominal muscles to become reliant on the brace. So when you don't wear it, your back gets sore or things like that. Um, so that's just my views on a few different options for braces after pregnancy when it comes to abdominal separation. I'll do another Facebook Live about different braces for back pain and things like that soon. But if you have any questions, leave a comment below. Thanks, guys.